fishy internet peoples. This is a culture of vinegar eels and a new one I'm going to make. Vinegar eels are a super good, super easy food for small fry. So here's everything you're going to need. This is an old culture, but if you're starting one out, you'll probably like mail order it or whatever. And you'll have like some vinegar eels in a small bag usually. Hold them up to the light. Make sure there's little wigglies in them before you start your culture. Otherwise, it's not any good. Okay. An apple, which is what they eat. Apple cider vinegar. And this is what I use to harvest my vinegar eels. A bud vase would be better, but this just happens to be what I have, so I'll be showing you how to use it. This I use as a stopper for the the vase, and I'll show you what I do with that. And then I've got a couple coffee filters, a couple rubber bands, and this is what I cover up the vinegar eels with so that they don't get um, fruit flies in them. So I'm going to turn you off for a minute, and... I will mix up the vinegar, I'll tell you how I do it, and cut up the apple. Okay, so what I did with the apple cider vinegar, this is a new one here, this is the old culture, is I dumped out part of the vinegar, you can save it if you want to. Like I say, make sure it's apple cider vinegar, Yeah, I just use the cheap stuff, some people think, like, use the more expensive all natural stuff organic but I just use the cheap stuff and it works good okay so I dumped out the vinegar to about there and then I added water so we got half water and half vinegar and I stopped it at the widest part so the vinegar eels when they get going will have the maximum amount of air See in the bottle you don't want to like fill it up to the neck because then they won't get enough air so you want to drop it down where they're getting maximum surface area. And I've got my apple sliced up, just big enough to put into the bottle. This is what, the apple is what the vinegar eels will be eating. So we just stuff them in there. I usually use most of an apple. I'm going to put a couple slices into the old culture to keep it going to just some apples and in apple cider vinegar, a mixture of half apple cider vinegar and half water. The apples are in there. Now I'm going to add some vinegar eels from the old culture. Hang on. Okay, so this is just a flower vase. A bud vase, which would just be straight up and down without the extra on the bottom is perfect. But I didn't have one, so and I didn't want to buy anything special, so this is what I use. And what I do, because it's got this big wide area is I will go ahead and fill it up to that point with the culture of vinegar eels. And I'll fill it right up to the neck. Okay, and then I just take a piece of fiber fill and I have tied a string on it, a piece of twine. And the reason is so that I can pull it out easily because, yeah, I learned the hard way they can get stuck down in the neck. And then you have to fish them out. So I just put it down to where the vinegar eel is just part way up on the, on the fiber fill. It's about up to there. Now I'm going to fill it the rest of the way with water from the fish tank that I'm going to be feeding. And the vinegar eels will climb because they want the air. So they'll climb up through the cotton fiber and into the fresh water that you've got up here and then you can harvest them and I'll show you how I do that. So I have tank water in there from the tank that I'm going to be feeding and I will leave it sit for about half an hour give the vinegar eels time to come up into the into the water column there. So I have the vinegar eels ready to go. Cotton ball separating the vinegar water from the tank water and you can see how many there are here and we have a plastic tub with 
rice fish that are starting to hatch. I hope there's some showing here. Oh yeah, there's one up by the top, a couple up by the top. There's actually quite a few in here. You see, they're little teeny teeny little babies. And let me go around to the other side so we can see them better. We've got some moss that the eggs are hatching out from. That was in with the adults. There we go. There's some babies in there. Hopefully we can see them on camera. Because they're pretty small. But they're little daisies, rice fish. Oh, here's somewhere up here. They'll kind of hang by the surface. The daisies, rice fish hang up close to the top when they first hatch. So what we're going to do is I have a pipette. And we're going to start pulling vinegar eels out. See the pipette? I don't know if you can see it, but the pipette is totally full of vinegar eels. And we'll just start dropping into the water for the babies. There's probably way more vinegar eels than I need, but there's actually quite a few babies in here. So, and the vinegar eels will live in the water for quite a while. And I also, I change water about 10% of the water every night real carefully with these guys because even doing it this way where you're separating the vinegar and the water, um, you're still getting, you're lowering, lowering the pH of the water a little bit because you are getting the, just traces of vinegar in the water. So I stay up on water changes every night so that we don't have a sudden drop in pH and then when I go to change water have a horrible, horrible um, pH swing and kill the babies. So I'm also putting some way over in the back part. Anyway, that's this is how you feed it.